This is my video on coronation where I'm going to go through the initiation, propagation and termination steps for this reaction. So coronation is just a type of reaction and this is where hydrogen atoms on an alkane are replaced by chlorine atoms. So alkanes undergo what we call free radical substitution reactions with chlorine in the presence of heat, sunlight or UV light. So free radical substitution is the name of the mechanism for uh, this chlorination reaction. So that just means uh, the process by which the reaction takes place. So what do we need for chlorination? The reagents, uh, we need an alkane and chlorine and the conditions are heat, uh, sunlight or UV light uh, just to act as an energy source to get the reaction to go. So the example I'm going to go through is the reaction of methane with chlorine to form uh, chloromethane. The UV light just provides energy for the uh, chlorine chlorine single bond to break and form radicals. So a chlorine molecule Cl2 in the presence of UV light uh, forms two chlorine radicals and this is called the initiation step. So each of the chlorine atoms in the molecule takes one electron from the uh, chlorine chlorine bond and uh, the single electron is just denoted by a dot next to the chlorine. Next we have the chlorine atom react uh, sorry the chlorine radical reacting with a molecule of methane to form a methyl radical and this methyl radical then reacts with chlorine molecule to form chloromethane and a chlorine radical and both of these steps are called propagation steps um, and these are easy to recognize because on the left hand side we have one, one radical that is being used up as another one is formed on the right hand side. Um, notice that I've just made a note there when you write out the methyl radicals make sure you put the dot next to the atom that is actually carrying the single electron so for example uh, this methyl radical. It's the carbon that has the single electron, not the hydrogen. So next we have a methyl radical reacting with a chlorine radical again to form chloromethane. We also have two methyl radicals reacting to form ethane. Both of these are termination steps and these are easy to recognise because on the left hand side we have two radicals reacting together to form on the right hand side uh, a molecule. However, this reaction is quite difficult to control and we always get further substitution occurring. So. The reaction carries on to give you dichloromethane as shown here and then you get further reactions to give trichloromethane. Notice that these are all propagation steps and finally further reactions to get uh, tetrachloromethane so all of the hydrogen atoms on the methane molecule have now been replaced with chlorine atoms. So if we want to prepare tetrachloromethane as I've shown here we need to use an excess of chlorine because we want to replace all of the hydrogens on the methane molecule with chlorine. However if we want to prepare just chloromethane we need to use a large excess of methane because we only want to replace one of the hydrogens with chlorine and using more methane means we prevent further substitution from taking place.